Bus enthusiasts, let's imagine this scenario. You're camping at a bus interchange when an extremely rare bus deployment spawn. You point at your camera while zooming at your camera lens, but the moment you're gonna press the shoot button, a security officer comes and tell you this. Are you using camera? You cannot take pictures here. This is interchange. It might sound like I'm overreacting, but this is what we bus enthusiasts face in Singapore. We are being told off that photography is not allowed at bus interchange and terminals due to security reasons. Aside from bus interchange, we also have a similar problem with MRT stations. Hello. No video. No video. A look at SMRT's website shows that photography and videography in public areas is allowed for personal use and non-commercial purposes. But why are the security or company staff still stopping us? Oftentimes, the staff will recommend us to write a permit from the company before taking photos. But what about days where rare bus deployments happen and we cannot predict the day to apply for a permit? It also takes a couple of weeks for a permit to be approved. As an experiment, I decided to apply a permit with two bus operators. A look at SMRT's website mentioned that at least a minimum of 15 working days is required to review the request. I decided to give them 20 days for them to review. I submitted the request on 7 January 2020, scheduling on 27 January 2020 for the video shoot day. However, on my actual filming day, I did not get a single response. Hence, I continued to film the interchange while risking being caught by the security. I decided to drop an email to Tower Transit in January 2020 to ask if photography is allowed at their premises. The staff replied that permission is required with regards to my request and details of the video shoot were needed. I applied for a permit to do a video at Drong East Bus Interchange before its closure at that time. Even though they replied asking for details of the filming, Tower Transit did not reply whether they approved the filming. Feeling utterly disappointed, my mom helped me to write to Minister of Transport Mr. Ong E. Kong to buck up on the operator's work on approving permits. Mr. Ong responded that there is no need to apply for a permit to photograph or take videos in the interchange public areas if it is for personal use and non-commercial purposes. Like I always say, by the time the operators approve the permit, there will be a vaccine for the next pandemic. I also decided to write to Land Transport Authority to ask if such a rule exists. LTA responded that there is currently no regulation that prohibits filming at photography at the bus interchange and terminals. The operator also must check on the intent of these photography or filming activities as part of the security procedure. If you are to tell me no photography is allowed at areas like police stations or SAF camps, Fair enough, as these are very sensitive areas with restricted access. But no photography at a place like bus interchange where anyone can freely enter and exit does not make sense and definitely deserves a face palm. Fortunately, some staff also allow us to photograph at bus interchange so long as we are safe and not doing anything dangerous. Go Ahead Singapore also allows photography at their premises with permission. These are the staff I give my huge respect to them. Being a bus enthusiast for 5 years, getting caught by security for photography is no stranger to me as I've been caught several times, just like many other transport enthusiasts. There are also a number of incidents being posted online. Sometimes I've also been questioned by Public Transport Security Command or Transcom. They ask what is my purpose of filming. Upon knowing my intention, they simply reminded me to stay safe and continue with their patrolling. A video by GlitchFan2428 speaks the rest. In the past. So okay, it's hard to keep the physical bits of the bus, but what about keeping digital memories? Taking photos and videos of buses in Singapore, especially in interchanges, will be met with swift resistance from security personnel and company staff who often make up their own fictitious rules despite several letters from bus companies being produced confirming that photography and videography is allowed. This atrocity is something that probably only happens in Singapore, where some people are paranoid about hypothetical danger. 
Instead of thanking us for doing our part to document history, we are accused of committing acts of terrorism and even treated like common criminals. I filmed buses in all of these places and I have never once been questioned or stopped. In other countries like the UK, posters are put up to show their love and support for transport enthusiasts. A bus operator in UK, Warrington's own bus requests anyone to submit photos of their buses to their email. Even Network Rail welcomes rail enthusiasts to take photos or videos at train stations, so long the passenger service staff is informed. What a lovely country to be in! But in Singapore, we are shunned away by security or company staff being accused of committing acts of terrorism. Hello? No video? Is it your, your, our staff? No, I'm a transport enthusiast. No video. I know what some of you are thinking. Rather than causing so many problems, why not take photos of buses from outside? Surely the security won't stop you. In fact, I also do for places where it's physically impossible to film buses like indoor integrated transport hubs such as Yishun, Badok, and Serangoon. However, at times, it's also impossible to do so with the hot or rainy weather. How sad that we are forced to be thrown outside rather than having a comfort of staying inside the interchange. A friend of mine was recently harassed by a stranger for taking photos of buses outside Woodlands bus interchange. The old uncle said that it's illegal to take photos of buses with the bus captain face inside. My friend cooperated with him and went somewhere else. In April 2021, another friend of mine was taking photos of buses at an overhead bridge when a stranger called the police. The police were stunned on why such a report was made. After an exchange of words, the police looked through his camera for the photos before letting him go. Resources were eventually wasted for this harmless incident. Back in 2016, a bus enthusiast named SBS2827U was harassed by a certain Cisco security for filming at Chua Chikang Interchange and even got his phone snatched away. To the bus operators watching this video, I understand you wish to have a level of security to prevent a terrorist attack in Singapore, but filtering transport enthusiasts as terrorists isn't fair to us as well. We just want to take photos of buses as our hobby without causing any trouble or harm, and we certainly don't support any acts of terrorism. In conclusion, I hope the bus operators can give improvement to these problems by consulting us rather than judging or even hating us. Maybe like a special pass that proves that we are transport enthusiasts to allow photography. If you also have ideas, do post in the comments as well. I'll be ending this video with a couple of memes. See you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you enjoy watching the video. If you do, please feel free to leave a like and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.